Look how fit these people are. Damn. These guys are in shape, huh? What's going on? I hope your day is doing is going awesome. I hope you're doing great. I'm here at Raw Fitness Elite and we're doing a, our photo shoot for Dream It, Do It, Dominated for Durka Sports Nutrition. So we're with our ambassadors and these guys are in phenomenal shape. You can see the muscle definition. Let me show you around a little bit. Teresa, how's it going? Gloria, how are you? Brenda, how are you? Let me show you. Look at that. Look at the shoulders. Wow. I'm inspired just being in this room. And I guarantee you that they eat carbs. See, that's what I want to talk to you about today is carbs because they get such a we think that carbs are evil and carbs are just the enemy and carbs are the stuff that makes you fat. And we just really try to demonize this food, right? For a while, we try to demonize fat, fat. For a while, we try to demonize salt. And over and over again, studies have shown, experiments, research have shown that it's not really a bad food or one thing that makes you fat. It's a combination, right? So you can eat carbs. Now, of course, there's all kinds of carbs they are good they are good carbs and bad carbs but you can eat carbs and still be shredded right so here's the deal here's the two most important things that I always tell my clients and everybody that ask me how can I get super shredded or in super shape or lose the weight lose the fat so is two things that you got to control uh, first the biggest variables are gonna be first your calories right you're gonna hit your calories but not just any calories because a lot of people take this the wrong way they think because oh well I, I'm eating the calories I'm supposed to eat so I can eat just whatever well you can do that and get somewhere but you can only get so far doing that right like that's why super athletes and models don't just eat junk they control their calories but they're also eating high quality foods right so you can eat, uh, well, number one would be controlling calories. Number two, controlling for protein. If you have your high protein intake and your calories in control, carbs and fats can move and it's been proven over and over and over again. They don't make a mu a much of a difference uh, in weight loss or fat loss as long as you control calories, calories and protein. Now, if you boost up your carbs and your fats and you go over your calories then of course you're gonna gain fat right but it's not because of the carbs of course sugar's not great right we don't recommend sugar so I'll talk about where you could get your carbs from and when is the best time of the day to do it so that you don't get fat but let's first understand that there's no one bad food that will cause all these bad results it's the excess consumption and um, nutrient deficiencies because if you're eating junk you're not gonna get all the nutrients you need but you're still getting a whole lot of calories uh, from crappy sources. So that'll eventually become into stored fat. Okay, so once we get that out of the way, let's talk about carbs, okay? The carbs that you wanna eat are not refined carbs, are not sugars, are not ice cream and candy, right? Like some people say like, well, I, based on what I need to be hitting for that, I need 100 grams of carbs, and then they just go eat 100 grams of Oreos. That, that's not what we're saying, right? So the best sources of carbs you're gonna get are gonna be fruits, potatoes. What you wanna do is get carbs that are not empty calories, that have vitamins, antioxidants, other nutrients, electrolytes, minerals, stuff, uh, pretty much micronutrients that will help you be healthier, um, and help your body work at its peak capacity. It's crazy that, I mean, this is common sense, but we know it, common sense is not too common. But when you give your body all the nutrients it needs, it becomes so effective, right? So if you just focus on calories, that's beginner level. If you focus on getting all the nutrients you need so you can remedy deficiencies and make sure you get all the stuff you need, all the vitamins you need, all the uh, nutrients you need, then your body becomes way, way more effective and you feel better and you burn more fat and it's harder to get stuck on plateaus just because you're giving your body everything it needs. So that's why when I eat carbs, I wanna make sure my carbs come from great sources like fruits, like potatoes, right? Like vegetables, pretty much complex carbohydrates or carbs that are gonna have other things like potassium, things that are gonna help my body, help my performance, because guess what? We sometimes forget performance, but the better you can perform in the gym, the faster, the better the results you're gonna get. Okay, so that's, that's carbs pretty much what you wanna focus on. It's not about avoiding them. It's about getting the right sources and at the right time. So the right time would be around your workouts or early in the day where you're still gonna have time to burn them off uh, throughout the day. You're still gonna be active for a while, right? Uh, if you put them around your workouts, that'll be ideal. 
because it'll fuel the workouts and chances are they're not gonna be stored as fat because you're actually using that energy, right? So I, if, if we're trying to restrict because you need to lose fat, lose, uh, lose weight, then yes, we need to restrict. But uh, for sure we need to restrict. But if you completely eliminate, you run into another issue, uh, other types of issues. So I would just restrict it and then place him in strategic spots of the day, eat him at the right times, so early in the morning or better yet, around the workout, around the workout. I would just focus 75% of him, just to say a number specifically. Uh, of course, we can't just generalize, everybody's different, but if you want a specific, I would just try to put 75% of the carbs around the workouts before, post-workout, um, and then the rest of them where you're gonna be physically active. Now, some people will say, well, your body can use fats for energy as well. Absolutely, your body will use whatever you give him for energy, right? Uh, it can even use proteins for energy. If you completely restrict carbs, there's something called gluconeogenesis. So your body will convert proteins into glucose. Okay, so don't think you're gonna outsmart your body. The reason why we're alive and it's 2019 <laughs> is because we are survival mechanisms. So if you go keto, your body will adapt, it'll run on fats. If you go, you know, Atkins and you just go super high protein and very acidi acidity on the body, a lot of acidity, your body will convert a lot of those proteins into carbs. Uh, if you just go high carb, guess what? Your body can handle all those carbs, so it'll convert them to stored fat. So that's why I'm telling you, there's not one thing that you need to stay away from specifically. It's the moderation, the right doses, and make sure that you're getting your calories and your nutrients, I mean your calories and your protein where you need, and then from there, carbs and fats can move as long as you control calories and protein. But you wanna get those carbs or fats or whatever from the best sources possible, micronutrient-dense foods, okay? You can get, I've said this over and over, you can get 100 grams of carbs from apples, right? Or from Oreos. They're 100 grams at the end of the day. However, it's a very, very different um, outcome, right? It's a very different outcome. So the, the Oreo has nothing good for you. It'll spike your insulin like crazy. And that can lead to more fat storage if you're not in a calorie deficit. Um, it can lead to actually high cholesterol, higher cholesterol. Um, but and if you get from the apples, yes, it's still 100 grams of carbs, but you get a lot more bang for your buck because it's not just getting carbs, you're getting potassium, you're getting vitamins, antioxidants, you're getting fiber, right? Many, many more things that will help you. So again, I don't want you to just go against carbs and hate on carbs, just be smarter about it. I hope you that this helps, hope this video helps understand uh, what carbs are really for, when they're good, when they're bad. Um, and the best time to do it if you're trying to lose fat and you're trying to lose weight. Uh, just time your carbs around your workouts when you're gonna be physically active then the other times you would mainly eat proteins, fibers, fats. Uh, and that's a simple, very doable way because look, I've, I've helped people do this many different ways. I've done it myself many different ways. I've done carb cycling, I've done keto, I've done fasting, I've done six eight to eight meals a day. Like, trust me, I've tried it. I've been doing this for 15 years and this is my obsession. So at the end of the day, guess what? Everything works. Everything works as long as you stick with it. Uh, and that's the key, sticking with it. So it's, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many people, it's way better uh, to not completely eliminate a food, a food source because it's more sustainable. Like if you completely elim eliminate carbs and, and go keto, or if you completely eliminate fats and just go high carb, high protein, or whatever you wanna do, um, there's things that you're missing out on. There's things that you're missing out on. There's a reason why we have each nutrient and why our body can use each nutrient. There's a different purpose for each of them. So you don't wanna just over restrict because then you end up with deficiencies and your body's gonna slow down on you. It's actually gonna be working against you, all right? So I hope this helps. Somebody's acting up over there. So I hope this helps. Again, carbs are good or carbs are bad? Hey, it depends. In excess, they're bad. There's also gr bad carbs that are bad pretty much always, right? Like super high sugar refined foods. That's, that's definitely not something you wanna be um, basing your diet on, right? It's okay to have a cheat meal here and there. You can actually use cheat meals to your advantage, but it shouldn't be the general rule, right? Um, hope that helps. If it does, let me know. I gotta get back to the photo shoot with those shredded people back there. I think I'll be next in like 40 minutes. I'll see you next time.